Atlanta and Company afternoon, everyone. I'm Christine Pallara, so great to be with you. Well, have you found yourself taking on more than you can handle and feel like you're just missing out on the quality of life? In her number one international bestseller, Remedy for Burnout, Dr. Starla Fitch outlines the causes and steps to avoid burnout. I've been so looking forward to this segment. She joins us now with more. Thank you, Doctor, for being here. Thank you, Christine. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, talk to me about this because so many of us right now, we have such hectic lifestyles. We're going 100 miles an hour. Why is it how people often do end up taking on more than they can handle? You know, it's a crisis. It's a crisis in medicine, which is how I got involved in it, but it's a crisis on, in workers. 70% of workers in the U.S. today say they have some degree of burnout, and moms have their oh, whole yes. level of burnout. One mom wrote in to me, Christine, and said she is so grateful to be in Atlanta because she needs allergy shots, and that means she can have 45 minutes of downtime a week when she goes to the doctor to get her allergy shots. Isn't that shots. sad? Yes, That's it is. her idea of downtime. Exactly. Wow. Is and what causes something? burnout? From your, you know, interaction with so many people in the medical profession, mm -hmm. I know that's where you primarily, you know, focus the book on. Right. But for the rest of us out there, what, what are we doing? What's causing it? Well, I think there's a disconnect. There's a lack of fulfillment. And there's more cynicism. And those three things kind of tend to lead us into burnout. And what I found, it's funny because when I started my book, I had seven prescriptions that doctors use to find meaning in medicine. And so many people wrote into me, Christine, going, seven is too, too many. many. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can't try to scale yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. Make, make it make four. It, yeah. yeah. What's well, the minimum you can do? Because four is under five. And yeah. so then we can do it in a week and it's all good. <laughs> so true. And that's more doable. And what ways can we actually balance life or, or get to a point where we enjoy that quality of life and we have our, our routine that's a little more manageable? Mm -hmm. Well, I boiled it down to the four steps, which are clarity, creativity, compassion, and connection. Okay. So clarity is all about if you know the, the two things that people want most out of life, as we all do, is happiness and a sense of purpose. Doesn't that make sense, yes, Christine? Hundred percent. So if you want a happiness and a sense of purpose, you need to know where are you now and where do you want to be. So you have to know that before you can get clear on anything. So one thing that helps to do that is a thing that that uh, I help with doctors and clients and stressed out patients, we look at their ideal day. Would you be living in the beach? Would you be at the mountains? What time would Good you get question. up? And a really fun question is, what clothes are in your closet? Do you have yoga pants or do you have dressed up, yeah. you know, and fancy heels? Right. So that kind of tells you where is your clarity? Where do you want to really be in like a year, five right. years from now? And the, the creativity piece, I had a doctor call me. I thought she was calling for a consult because I do cosmetic eyelid surgery and, and I'm a board certified ophthalmologist here in Atlanta. And it turned out she said, oh, I heard you wrote a book on burnout and I think I need help. And I had no idea that she, she was like a can-do kind yes. of a surgeon. And we looked at creative ways for her to be able to bring in things that she would want to do every day, like bring something you really love for lunch instead of eating the hospital cafeteria food. Oh, good point. Just um, small changes little like Little things, that. little things. And we were talking before we started um, filming about your being a full-time, you know, worker and mom and dedicated person. And one thing I've found is if people say, I don't, instead of I can't, if you get asked to to bring cupcakes for the mm -hmm. third time. I don't give do cupcakes more than twice a year. <laughs> right. Or, I mean, that's a, yeah, yeah, I understand yeah. The, the point or the example, but it's so true. I, I can't, I, I don't I instead don't. of I can't. Yes, because then it's like, well, I don't. I, right. I don't do that. I'm sorry, for the person who says, oh, can you stay late on Thursday? I don't, I don't stay late stay on late. Thursday yes. because that's when my child has soccer game and I'm, I want to be there for that, for my Same, child. No, that's a big, and I imagine so many people in the medical profession, that's a very hard thing for 
anybody out there who, who's a mom. I don't know, maybe women have a tougher time saying no than men. Totally. Right? Yes. I'm yes. sure you've discovered that. Absolutely. And women physicians are more burned out than men, men. physicians. Mm -hmm. And it's because we're into the touchy feely thing, and plus, we're usually the caregiver. So, you know, after you talk about creativity, then it leads you into compassion. Yeah. And here's a really fun thing for your listeners to know. There is a uh, neurotransmitter that we all have in our system called serotonin. Yes. It's in our gut, it's in our nervous system, it's in our platelets. And if, when you increase serotonin, you reduce your stress and you reduce your blood pressure and you increase your collagen tone so you get more relaxed and younger looking. looking. Hello. So we want that. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. yes. So how to do that? If you do a, a kindness to another, you and the person that you do that kindness to, you will both have increased serotonin levels. And what's really crazy, Christine, let's say the typical little Boy Scout walking his grandmother across yeah. the road, and you're just in the car, you don't even know these people, your serotonin level goes, goes up, up just watching just it. Just by observing that cool? an act of kindness. Oh, I love Isn't that. that cool? That's true. Yeah. I, I wish we had an hour. We need to have you back because I hate that we're out of time. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'd love to. This is such an important topic, I think, because so many of us are experiencing that. No matter what job they're doing, uh, as you said, whether you're a mom or a physician saving right. lives, I mean, we're all experiencing it. So thank you. The book is called Remedy for Burnout. We appreciate your time, thank Doctor. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you could pick up your copy wherever books are sold. I'm picking up this copy right here. There you here. go. And they, they can find out more too at my website uh, lovemedicineagain.com lovemedicineagain.com yep. Fantastic. You know what else I like about this? It's thin. It's a thin book guys. Easy to read. Hey, still ahead on Atlanta.